In a previous video, I showed you how to uh, share a document that you've created with Google by using this blue share button. So if I wanted to share this uh, Mike Ditka trading card with other Bears fans, I could do that, um, or just with anybody who needs to know about Ditka. Um, I would hit add people and I would begin typing in their names like we did before. Sometimes, however, there are groups of people with whom you're sharing frequently um, and instead of having to, to add each individual every time you do this, you can create contact lists um, and f that you can use uh, to, to share things, much like an email distribution list. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So in order to do that, um, we go back to our drive and choose contacts. So when I'm in contacts, what I want to do is set up a new group of Contacts. So I'm going to hit new group. Maybe I'll hit Bears fans. I'll hit OK. Um, you can do it a couple different ways. Uh, an easy way to do it with people with whom we work is to choose the directory. So I'm going to choose the directory. And it's going to pull up everybody that's at onalaskaschools.com. So it's alphabetically uh, arranged here. Um, you can either browse it, you know, by scrolling through, and there are 3,500 names in there with all the students and everything. So that's going to take you a while. Or you can sort it. Uh, by searching. So I know that Kevin Bonner and Kevin Burke are both Bears fans, so I type in Kevin, and I can get both of them right there. So I'm going to click uh, this little groups button. This kind of three-headed monster here is, is the Google icon for a group. I'm going to put them in the Bears fan uh, group that I just made, and I'm going to hit apply. Um, so I can search by first name. Uh, maybe I want to search by last name. So I'm going to search for Glenn, because I know he's a Bears fan. Um, and Glenn Fleach comes up. I'm going to add him to Bears fans as well. Um, and let's say um, somebody's name, I can't really remember how to spell Sandy Kapusman's name, but I know that her username is Kausa. So I'm going to hit that, and that'll pull up Sandy as well. So you can search several different ways, and I'll apply her to Bears fans. So now the Bears fans are in this group uh, called Bears fans. Um, now that I have a contact with them, I could send them an email if I wanted to. Um, I could do lots of so, so if I click on that, I can send them all an email. Uh, so it works as an email distribution list. Or let's say I go back to my drive, or I go back to this document and I want to share this with them, this long lived Ditka. Um, I'll hit this where it says add people. I'm going to choose from contacts. Now if I click on most contacted, my Bears fans group shows up. Um, there are the four people that I put in that group. I want it to go to all of them. So I'll hit done. Then just like before, I'll hit save and share and done. Uh, they'll get an email that tells me that they've gotten this beautiful long-lived Ditka document from me. Look at that hair. Looking good, Mike. All right. Let me know if you have any questions, but I hope this helps. Have a great day.